And we've had incredible polls. You've probably seen the new Rasmussen poll just came out. We're three points up nationwide and going like a rocket. We've got a new Fox News poll about to be released. Battleground state polls tightening ahead of the election to secure the, pan uh, the presidency. They basically need 270 votes. And Donald Trump just mentioned Rasmussen. Well, we have Rasmussen Media Group President Scott Rasmussen here right now. So what are the, you've said several Trump paths to the presidency. Well, there are, there are several paths, but they're all difficult paths. The first thing Donald Trump needs to do if he wants to win the White House is he has to win every state that Mitt Romney won. And that includes North Carolina, where he's at, at best in a toss-up position right now. But if he wins North Carolina, that gets him to 206 electoral votes. Then he needs to win Florida and Ohio. There are no options on this. He has to win those. That gets him to 253. Probably if he does that, he also picks up Iowa. That gets him to 259 votes, just 11 short. And that's where it gets really difficult. There are three different ways he could do that. He could take Pennsylvania, which is always the great white whale for Republican presidential candidates. He could win Michigan, which no Republican has done since 1988. Or he could do a combo, pick up Nevada and New Hampshire. Uh, those things are all possible. When you start looking at them, the difficulty gets to be, you know, what does it take to get there? New Hampshire and Pennsylvania have one advantage for the Trump campaign over all the other states. There is no early voting. So any of these... Say that again, New Hampshire and, and, Pennsylvania. and Pennsylvania, no early voting. No early voting. Okay. So... All these stories, all these trends that we're hearing, they have a big impact on those states because 100% of the people, or maybe 95% or 98%, will actually vote on election day. And they'll factor in all these stories. In a place like Florida, a lot of votes were cast before all these stories came out. So when, a, say, a Florida switches to Trump, does, do, do, do you see and have an impression of, at all whether voters see that and they, in Ohio and they say, oh, Maybe I'll go for Trump, or they just stick to. Are voters pretty much decided who they're going to vote for now? Some people are trying to decide between Donald Trump and a third party option or Hillary Clinton and a third party option, but yeah, they don't pretty much what they're going to do. Um, the news from Florida is not going to have an impact on Ohio. Okay. It might have an impact out west. All right, Scott, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Really appreciate it. That was interesting.